It is being called an epidemic. Teenagers using vaping devices such as jewels packed with highly addictive nicotine. Especially concerning is the research that shows nicotine can hinder brain development through the age of 26. But what are local retailers doing to try to keep these products out of the hands of those who are too young to legally buy them? We take a look in tonight's News 4 Tucson Investigators Report. Under federal rules, retailers who sell products containing nicotine must ask for ID from anyone aged 27 and under. The News 4 Tucson investigators wanted to find out if smoke shops are actually following those rules. The News 4 Tucson investigators went to 10 different smoke shops in central Tucson and on the south, west and east sides. We sent in a 25-year-old member of our team to see if she would be asked to show proof that she's old enough to buy vaping products containing nicotine. The clerk at this smoke shop on East Grant Road near Country Club did not ask for any sort of ID before selling us these creme brulee vape pods. When we returned to the shop to ask the clerk about the sale, she didn't want to talk on camera, but she did insist she does ask for ID, even though we have audio of the sale to our 25-year-old who was undercover. Thank you. At this smoke shop on West St. Mary's, we were also able to walk out with vape juice containing nicotine and once again, no ID required. Is one? Yes, please. It's going to be four dollars. Thank you. The same was true at this shop on West Roger at Flowing Wells. We were here last week and we had a, one of our employees who's 25 come in. She looks 23 and she got this product without being checked for her ID. Is huh. that it? How do you want to respond to that? We have a camera who, who works here and who at the shift when they saw this, you know? So you know about the rules that you have to check IDs on yeah. anyone 27 and that's 27 and under, correct? Exactly. And you do it every time? Every time, every customer. No matter how old they look? But if customer come at us, I know him like first time I ask him ID and in the future I'm not asking him anymore. Okay. Because I know him. Cool. How much is that one? The 1799 plus tax will be... The News 4 Tucson investigators were also able to buy e-cigarette pods containing nicotine from this smoke shop on North Stone near Fort Lowell without the clerk asking for ID, even though our News 4 Tucson staffer appears young enough to be in college. You go to the UAV or Um, I'm graduated. How many years did you graduate? I was a journalism major. Oh. Turns out the owner of that shop also owns the one we went to earlier on West Roger Road. We are just checking all the stores okay. and seeing who is actually carding people. Okay, we do card people. You didn't hear. No, we did. We have it on video. We did. We, okay, if you say you did uh -huh. and we have it on video that you didn't, how do you respond to that? Out of 10 smoke shops the News 4 Tucson investigators checked out, a total of seven did not ask for any type of ID to buy vaping products. Some of those that didn't say they understand the rules, but at times following those rules can be a challenge. Sometimes we like get people in like groups and we feel a little rushed. So like sometimes we can mistake and just not ID on accident. Like I personally, I've done that a few times. Now, both federal and state authorities do their own undercover stings of smoke shops, and those who do not check ID can end up with a warning, followed by fines for repeat offenders. If you have something you'd like the News 4 Tucson investigators to check out, you can email us at investigators at kvoa.com, or you can call the News 4 Tucson investigators tip line 955-4444.